Hello, and welcome to Spicy Toast Gaming. Hello everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here with our Lee Sin vs. Galio um, playthrough. This is part two of our Lee Sin guide. We'll link part one down below. This is just putting the guide in action against one of the uh, toughest opponents in the game. You see we have Lee Sin at 23, two stars, and we're using Riggle's Lantern and... What is that called again? <laughs> Dreadway, Dreadway Chase Guns. All right, so let's see how Lee Sin does against Galio. If you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe. All right, let's see if we can get some good powers here. All right, Wild Inspiration, pretty good. This is going to make our twin uh, disciplines uh, cost one less, so that's not bad. Pretty much any power that's going to help um, your mana efficiency is quite nice for Lee Sin, as uh, he qu feels quite mana starved. Uh, gain some early game cards. Oh, nice. So, even though Vanguard Defender is normally a stronger card, their one-cost uh, unit is actually much worse because it's a 4-2. Four, four so, it's going to play the Inspiring Mentor, but I'm going to go with the Green Glade Lookout. That way, if they attack, we could kill them. So, I'm just going to open attack here. I don't want them to play something that has... Uh, four power. All right, I'm going to use the Twin Disciples. I always say Twin Disciples. Twin Disciplines. One of my viewers corrected me on that before. Uh, just to get him healed up. We'll buff up Lee Sin here. Alright, so this costs three, so making them have to play that again would be um, pretty decent. They don't have enough mana for, well, to play it again, and they also don't have enough mana uh, for their single combat, because that costs two. Alright, so two... Right, let's go like this. That way we're killing them both and our units are surviving. Let's see, how much damage do we... And yeah, plus four. If I had him at three stars, we could just attack here, because since we'd get a unit to 8-8 eight, eight by playing two spells, we would actually be able to end the game, potentially. Uh, but since I just have him at the two stars, it wouldn't be quite enough, I don't believe. So we're using these just to get him... Um, leveled up faster and trigger his two effects. So we don't want to buff up Lee Sin here since he doesn't have um, Overwhelm.
Alright, bit unfortunate, but we'll be able to end it uh, next attack. So we're going to save the uh, Twin Disciplines to counter whoever they try to kill. So there, what I actually should have done... Uh, is buffed up a different unit with the plus three. That way it would have survived. We didn't need to protect Lee Sin because Lee Sin already was going to get um, barrier. So that was a bit of a misplay on my part, so my bad. Here it doesn't really matter. Lee Sin's going to end the game with his uh, kick. Too bad, trying to keep our health up, and I think we ended that at full health still. Or at least close enough that we're... Alright, full health, nice. But yeah, if you take a couple damage, it's not that big of a deal, since you're going to be healing, like, 4 health, 4, 3 health at the start of every game. So we're going to be trying to get flow effects off, so we might be able to get that out for cheaper. Not bad. I have played with Heimerdinger before. It can be okay. I didn't particularly like it, but he does have some decent um, spells. Yeah, we'll probably go with Heimerdinger so we don't have to spend a reroll. Probably never bother playing him. Right, we'll go towards the champion chest, despite the fact that the the soldier is the most difficult um, run here. We want to get some cheap unit that we'll be able to play. All right. You pretty much always want to start with the lookout if you can. It's a very strong unit, especially once you get your phage going. All right, so they're out of mana. They do have... Ah, oh, well, they... Right, they can play <laughs> some without any mana. They do have the Mark of the Isles combat trick, and then since they also have Ephemeral units have 2-2, two, two, by playing that one card, their units go to like 4-4, four, four, I think. So they can swing the tide quite heavily in their favor, which can be a pain. All right, we're going to play the Mentor here so we have enough for uh, Twin Disciplines. We might use Sonic Wave to trigger it twice, though. So yeah, we're going to use Sonic Wave here. This way we can play two spells. So it's going to save this unit. Yeah, we're going to take the hit from the Ephemeral, but I want to get rid of uh, their units if possible. 
So a bit more damage, but got rid of some of their board. Quite nice. So there's a pre pretty good chance they're going to Mark of Isles um, this unit and kill our Mentor, but if that happens, it's not the end of the world. We're trying to just get as much damage down as possible while playing cheap spells to get our Lee Sin closer to leveling up. You don't always want to play him as soon as you have the mana. You want him to be leveled up or close to leveling up when you play him. So we'll play him next round, uh, if we can play him immediately before the attack, that way he can get barrier and help as a blocker. Alright, we're going to play Concussive Palm here. We're going to get a spell trigger from this, and then also it'll shuffle a couple other copies into our deck. Um, they'll cost one, but because of our Wild Inspiration, they'll probably cost, they should cost zero. Um, so maybe we'll be able to grab one of those, but this is both going to stun a unit and give us another unit that can block. So I'm going to stun the Ephemerals, since a stun on an Ephemeral unit is essentially killing it. So I'm not going to use another spell. I'm going to wait and see if they try to um, grab and kill Lee Sin. All right, they did not. So again, we have to know that there's a good chance they're going to kill this unit with Mark of the Isles, but just going to be the way it is. Again, we're taking a bit more damage than, um, like we could block this unit and save a little bit of health, but we do want to try to kill their non-ephemeral units. This is definitely the hardest um, fight for this uh, part of the adventure, but getting a champion uh, slot or champion item will be very important. My lands need me. Will we have enough? We should be able to have enough right here to end the game. And this is another reason why it's just nice to get rid of any of their units. Because that way you don't have to worry about blockers. Sometimes with Lee Sin, you might want to make sure there's one blocker so you can challenge and kick them into the Nexus. Uh, but their health was low enough that that wasn't really necessary. So grabbing Wuju style would be pretty nice, very cheap, and then Grifter's deck, they're going to cost uh, zero, so I think getting some of these would be very good to have. Alright, Overwhelm, this is perfect, this is what you always want to get on uh, Lee Sin, that'll be very nice, essentially doubling his damage. To be greedy or to not be greedy. I 
I think I won't be greedy yet with Lee Sin, so I'll just get the get the heal. Alright, that's a pretty good pretty good start. Having the elusive will be decent. Scales scales is pretty strong. Scaled Snapper is a decent blocker. While we could get some better um, one or two drops, I don't really want to re-roll any of these. Alright, nice. We got Lee Sin, so we can start scaling up that impact. I often go with the health in the beginning of the game, just so, <clears throat> excuse me, so that we can have a unit that will uh, be able to block. Now against Zoe, they do often just attack with their elusives, but. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Wuju style just so that we can get multiple spell triggers off. We want to get that Lee Sin leveled as soon as possible. So we could get one more spell trigger off, but I'm going to just want to bank the mana. Yeah, I don't really want to play any of my other, or these two cards here, because whoever I play is probably just going to get immediately grabbed by the Scholarly Climber. And like with this card, while this is going to cost one, it's at focus speed, so they have to attack us. If they attack us, we wouldn't really be able to um, play it. And I want to be able to kill two of their units if possible when they attack. We'll stun their elusive since we won't be able to block it. So the choice is, do we want to... Well, we won't be able to kill that unit because it's at 5 and we're only going to get 2. So we're going to use this to save this unit. This unit is going to get buffed up then and be able to kill uh, theirs. So both of our units still alive. One of theirs died. Pretty nice. Lee Sin, he's not going to be able to level up, but being able to have him challenge uh, these elusives and at least get them lower, if not be able to kill someone, would be pretty decent. Although we potentially want him to stack up a bit more. I wish we had another challenger unit. I'm just trying to think what would be uh, the best for getting Zoe to block. Since they have another elusive, just playing the elusive doesn't really guarantee that. I'll 
I'll go I'll go with the Shadow Assassin, see if we can get another good draw. We did, very nice, and it costs zero. Two or less power. Alright, so that one's gonna get stunned. So I could attack here and try to surprise them, but they're going to block. Um, they're more likely to block if the person actually has high power. And they are actually willing to sacrifice their Zoe. Let's see? All right, we'll use this to heal up uh, our unit here. No better place than Tarkov. All right, we'll be able to level up Lee Sin here. Very nice. We'll play this first. Alright, let's think through the best possible course of action. That one's going to get stunned. Let's just try to remove a lot of their cards, actually. I'll just try and see if I want to get this unit to survive and have it block over here. Actually, making sure that Leeson is going to get the buff next round and get the 4 4. So, actually, killing off your strongest unit is actually <laughs> it's not a bad play. So, yeah, we'll deal with that. We won't take much damage. And Leeson will level up here. Sometimes if you have another unit that's too strong, then Leeson can never get the star power buff, which really hurts when you're attacking. Alright, we'll just open attack here, and we should be able to win the game. Uh, be careful you don't grab a unit with uh, Spell Shield. That will negate your uh, Dragon Kick, because it's the skill will get countered by the Spell Shield. So here we could buff him up a lot more, but we're already doing twice their damage, because he's doing 12 to hit the Nexus, 12 then to hit the Nexus again, and then uh, the impact is triggering multiple times. Ah, we don't have Spell Shield. So that's going to stun him, but the Dragon Kick is still going to go through. Could we buff him up enough? Nah, no, that's fine. We'll just deal with that. I knew they didn't have any, like, fast speed stuns. I forgot that they would take one of our cards. It's a bit unfortunate. Take the high I won't stand by. You are brave, young one. 
So we just need to survive until our next attack, which shouldn't be too much of an issue. The other unit here is going to get the 4-4 buff, but that's fine since we're not attacking. I don't really like Heimer, so that's why I'm not bothering to play him. But I guess, guess I will just wave another blocker or attacker. So here I'm gonna play um, Twin Disciplines first to buff up. Oh, Elisa's actually gonna not gonna be able to hit get above that seven anyways. We're giving the other Overwhelm unit uh, one of their units with the least amount of um, health. So if they stun Lee Sin again, we'll buff up this unit uh, to try to get it to destroy the Nexus. Alright, there we go. So, a bit longer than... Uh, we wanted, but still coming away with the win. Not too difficult. Hmm. So double time watch. Very, very good. But with our Wriggles, we really need to have Lee Sin in our hand at the start of the game so we can start stacking up. And playing him for cheaper, while it's nice, it's more important that he gets leveled and that he gets his Wriggles Lantern stacks. So we're actually going to go with the Farsight instead, but double time is very good. Quick draw can be very strong, but I'm going to try to get like Sorcery or Spellslinger here. Yeah, still going to go for Sorcery or Spellslinger. Having extra blockers, again, not bad. Come on. Yeah, we really got screwed out there. That's sad. We'll go with Armed Gearheads. We're playing created cards uh, regularly. They'll be able to get buffed up to a decent amount. Having the heal or being able to cut a card is more important than the uh, extra gold. I always have the worst luck when I record these. So I guess we'll re-roll here since we know we're going to draw him anyways. I'm going to try to get a unit. Now if I had sorcery and I could play this at the start of the game, I would always want this in my hand so I could start getting uh, those copies shuffled in. But since we're not going to play this for a little bit anyways, that's why I'm replacing these. Alright, I'm going to pass here. They're going to try to kill one of my units. I'll try to uh, save them. So, um, Twin Disciplines is better for saving your card than the Wuju-style Meditate. 
This gives you three health, while this one will only give you uh, two. So we could already save him here, but we'll use the Wuju style to get more spell triggers and to shuffle more into our deck and also kill their card. Alright, very nice. Perfect, we drew another one, so we're just going to go full um, offense right now. I guess I could have played that for a little bit more damage. So we're playing that first, so we can play a uh, Thermo Beam. Now this won't kill one of them, but we're wanting to get the uh, Hextech Fabricator to give our units a bit more power. So I would potentially want to play Lee Sin here. He wouldn't be quite level, but could still potentially help us end the game. That capture, though, really worries me. So we're going to try to go with this for now and see if they use a capture card on us. Oof, that's scary. Alright, so this unit's going to get the buff when we play our second spell. Playing the twin uh, disciplines, we'll buff them both up to five. Well, now this one's going to get the buff. Alright, we're going to hit this card here, that way it goes to... Um, five, which means the one of these will be able to kill it. Yeah, Alright, so hopefully they block with two, and we can at least get rid of two of their units. Alright, decent. Alright, we'll play Concussive Palm here. We'll play Lee Sin on our next attack turn. That fast spell is really going to screw us over, though, with Lee Sin, because he doesn't have Spell Shield. So as soon as we play him, they can get rid of him. But we'll deal with that later. We're going to stun one of their units and get another blocker and still have enough mana for our uh, Twin Disciplines. The problem is I want to buff whichever one isn't going to get the 4-4 buff. 
but I can't really be sure on who that would be. I guess I'll just give it over here. Oh, it would have been that one. So we're blocking this one over here so that he's going to go down to 2 health. Next round he'll go up to 3 health, but we still can get rid of him with Gruesome Theater, potentially. So he has max stacks, but we need to try to get them below that three cost. So we're gonna play this to try to recall the unit and um, buy time. I don't necessarily just want to, well, I think there's a decent chance that if I pass, they'll pass back and end the round. I don't really want to risk that because we need to end the game as soon as possible. Magic is so we stay vigilant. Burst passing doesn't really work. <laughs> I've tried it before. I feel like we have to risk playing Lee Sin. And hopefully they don't just immediately capture it. But they might, which would really screw us over. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, he's not going to get the buff, but that's fine. He'll have more than enough damage to... Kill someone. Yeah, it's kind of silly. Yeah, they don't use their capture spell too often, but we aren't able to get spell shield on him yet. Yeah, always be want to be mindful of the opponent's mana and what they can play. Part of that does just come with playing the game a lot and knowing what the. Um, enemy has, what spells they generally use, and kind of just how their AI is built, which it varies from um, opponent to opponent. Two cost manifest a spell, not bad. Stagehand also is tempting, but I think having a barrier as well as just generating another spell, which is going to cost one less because of our uh, wild inspiration. Yeah, we don't really need our one drop since we already are going to have two. Holy crap. You guys hearing that? Why is there... Well, that's concerning. I'm assuming you guys could hear that, but there was a plane flying overhead that was very, very loud. I do not live close to an airport. I do not live somewhere where planes normally fly overhead, so... I don't know what is going on. That's concerning. Um, anyways, we don't really need our one-drop since we already have two one-drop units on the board with Game Start, so... He is the most use useless. Ooh, I love the Crusher, but we'll see. 
Yeah, it's a fine, decent power. We don't really rerolls anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's decent. This is like one of my favorite cards, so I'm just gonna. I love this card. Always look if that you see Mecha Yordles, because they're often quite good, because they can't um, normally be added to a deck, because they're cards that are generated with a manifest. Purify is not bad, but we don't want to get too many cards in our deck. We just got three other ones. Ooh, Smooth Soloist. Yes, please. Yeah, I don't think we need two of them. They are really good, though. If you can get these on board and get them buffed up so they're just going crazy and buffing up your entire deck, it's it's very nice. Yeah, I'll just go with the Lookout since he will actually be able to um, survive. Yeah, that'll be fine. to everyone. That's rough. Yeah, that'll be the only way to really save him. Yeah, that is pretty unfortunate. Don't really want these units dying. So I think I'll wait until I have other combat tricks I can use to save them. So they'll be able to, ooh. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just get rid of Grave Physician. So I'll get rid of one of their cards. They have the mana to play it again, but that's gonna make them use up their mana that they would wanna use potentially on something else. And this will give us a blocker and a spell trigger. We'll let them attack. We gave this one a 3 health because we knew this one was going to get the 4-4. Four, four. So we're not going to bother blocking these since they want to die anyways to turn into the escaped abomination. Alright. 
just trying to think through how close we can get him to leveling up. I don't think we could quite do it this round. Yeah, I think we'll hold off for now. We'll play him on the uh, next attack turn. So I'm giving this unit Challenger so that it can... Uh, choose its target a bit better. Yeah, we'll use this too. We'll try to push a bit more damage with the Overwhelm unit. And get Lee Sin a bit closer to leveling up. Very nice. All right, what is going to be the best block here. Alright, so this unit is going to get the buff when the second spell is played. Alright, so we're not going to take any damage. We're going to lose a couple units, but that's uh, not too bad. I do think they do have a couple kill spells, so that does worry me. But yeah, there's nothing really we'll be able to do about that. So I'm going to wait for them to uh, try to block, and then I'm going to use a warning shot to buff up units. So, time to start using <laughs> Heimerdinger to generate uh, a bunch of blockers. Decent backup. The main reason I don't like Heimerdinger for the most part is that he just fills your hand with too much junk units if you um, play him too early.
So we're going to save the barrier for next round, and this mana will just get banked. Any unit we draw, though, is going to have pretty large health pool from getting constantly buffed up. Oh, not drawing any units. Uh, we will draw our Lee Sin, though. Well, hopefully it's Lee Sin. Alright, so we have Lee Sin. He has no stacks of the Riggles, so that kind of sucks, but... We have Overwhelm, so should still be fine. So we're actually going to build out the board and play this a little bit uh, slower since our Lee Sin isn't quite as powerful. Although we should try to buff him up a little bit so that he can try to get the uh, buff from the two spells, but not quite fast enough, sad. So we're going to have Lee Sin attack first and get rid of the Collector. That way he can't drain any other units. We'll keep Heimerdinger in reserve just so we can pop out more um, bots for whoever dies. Probably not going to have quite enough here, unfortunately. Yep. But we have these. Cutting it a little close there with actually hitting the uh, 20. Yeah, Lee Sin is probably the most inconsistent as far as how well his games go. If you get the right powers, Lee Sin feels absolutely unstoppable, like the best, the best unit or best champion in the game. More Sonic Waves would be very nice, especially for making them free. Come on, Smooth Soloist. So we'll just help get some cheaper units. This can help make some um, infinite combos if you get the right uh, powers with it, or right items. The blockers, not bad. And then a little bit more early game power, also not bad. But then we'll stick with this for now. We'll just go for the eight health. But yeah, when you get the right powers on Lee Sin, he can feel absolutely amazing. But he really does need certain powers to really help him out. And without that, it can feel kind of weak. Alright, we'll get rid of the Scaled Snapper since we have the Crusher. Champion draw and extra spells. Uh, decent to have. And we know we're going to draw Lee Sin because he has that Farsight on him. Right, we're going to play the Green Glade. So the second one costs one, which then should make it free. Hey, 
I guess we'll enjoy that. Alright, so getting rid of some of their units and doing a good amount of damage. Also getting four spell triggers in the first round, pretty good. Sadly, they reduced Heimerdinger and not Lee Sin. Alright, we'll go for the Crusher since it's a bit cheaper. Or Snapper. <laughs> Crushes over here. We're blocking with this so we can reduce our Leeson down to a four. So yeah, we're gonna play the twin disciplines, heal up our unit a little bit, and then just get more spell triggers going off. So here we're going to pass because they almost always um, play Viego. I do this for her, for us. We could play Lee Sin here, but he's not going to have that many stacks yet. And I think we could kill Viego. So we're going we're gonna to try that. Hopefully it buffs the right one. Alright. Good. So yeah, we can attack with quick attack, killing Viego. We're going to give this unit challenger. He can still kill uh, theirs, but we want to push a bit more damage with our um, augment units. Alright, so getting a good amount of damage, clearing their board. Uh, I think we'll just bank the mana uh, for now. So if we wait one more round, he'll be able to get to um, six um, impact. I am a little concerned putting all the eggs in that basket, though, because they have vengeance and they haven't played any of them yet. I think I'm actually going to build out the board and then open attack next turn because it most of their spells that deal with multiple units most of those spells are slow vengeance is fast so if we play Lee Sin and attack they can still kill him while he's attacking So we have enough damage, they can Vengeance and block one of these. Whoever they don't though, we will try to buff up as much as possible and end the game um, right here. Alright, so they block this one, Vengeance here. We haven't used any spells, so we can buff this card up above these other ones, and that way he's going to get the um, buff for the star powers. We're still just going to try to spread those out a little bit, though. 
All right, and we are good unless they have another vengeance, which honestly they could. Yep. All right, so double vengeance. That's why we spread the buffs out and didn't put them all on one person. But yeah, if we played Lee Sin, he would have just gotten killed with one of those vengeance. It is nice that they have used up all their mana and two of their vengeance cards. We're still going to wait to play Lee Sin. We want to give them as little time as possible to deal with him. So we want to play him preferably next turn when they're out of mana. That way we'll have the be able to open attack with him. We'll play Heimerdinger, though, and let him fill out the board a little bit with uh, bots. If we fill out this board, potentially they will just use the Ruination to kill all of them, which if they spend all their mana doing that, I would be fine with that. So yeah, might be a Ruination incoming. Oh no, the ruination! Whoa, never could have predicted that. No. <laughs> Alright, we could use a spell to save one of our units. But then if we save one, it would immediately die. I think I'm I think I'm fine with actually letting them die. So now they're out of um, mana, so we can play Lee Sin. I fight with the dragon spirit. So now Lee Sin doesn't have to worry about their slow spells, and we can just attack um, immediately when we get the attack token next turn. They could still have another vengeance or two. I don't know if they're actually bound by having like three in their check or three in their deck. But we have a decent shot now. My lands need me. Prepare yourself. Yeah, this is the damage without him challenging. And then once he challenged, the damage like skyrockets because that makes the impact go off multiple times. And it also makes him hit the Nexus twice because of the dragon's um, fury or whatever the spell's called. So they could still have a Vengeance. Do they still? Oh my word, they still have another Vengeance. Uh, well, that sucks. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really think we're going to have any way... Yep, that's unfortunate. So we had a decent shot at avoiding that, but because they already used up two, but not really anything we can do about that. Uh, we have another Lee Sin, but all of his stacks are now um, gone. We'll wait to play him again so that they still have a lot of slow speed kill spells that we don't want uh, them to use on him. We're going to recall our Shadow Assassin so that we can play it again and get a little bit more draw. Hmm. 
I'm wanting to start shuffling these into our deck. And I think we'll just be able to kill Viego with our... Um, oh, it's Crasher, not even Crusher. <laughs> uh, by buffing it up with the star power. Yep, I think that's fine. Alright, so they shouldn't have mana to kill Lee Sin, so we're going to play him here, so we can try to open attack again. <laughs> and hopefully they don't have any fast speed spells. Hopefully they don't have like a fourth Vengeance in hand. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just going to spread the buffs out as much as possible. Alright, so we have a lot of spells to throw more damage at them if we need it. <laughs> Oh, let's see if they're able to do some BS to get out of this. Oh, thank goodness, finally. <laughs> oh, this is going to be like our longest playthrough of versus Galio. Yeah, you really, you do need to be somewhat methodical with uh, Lee Sin at times. We'll go with Double Time Watch, get him cheaper so that when we do want to play him, he's not going to cost too much. Feral Presence, very nice. Um, being able to make that every single round, gain a free spell. Like, the Predict also is decent. Yeah, we'll go towards the Spells Chest. That was like one of the longest Viego fights I've ever had, I think. <laughs> Alright, we have other better two drops. If we have another chance to cut cards, we're probably going to cut the snapper. Yeah, I don't think I really want to give them the opportunity to play anything. This is glorious. See? This is progress. So we'll try to get as many spells going as possible. You might sometimes want to save these, you can have it for another round, but we're about to draw another one, and we already have one in hand. So... Let's just see how much damage we can push with this. So I'm going to focus the buffs on the one with the 6 health. It's possible that they're going to have the... Um, fast speed drain from a unit and summon a spiderling and I think they have extra damage on it so they could potentially kill this unit huh well this is glorious I do agree They, it gave us just enough. Hmm. Nice. The game was like, you know what? 
that Viego match was too long. We'll, we'll help you out in the next one. <laughs> but, uh... Huh, that was nice. I guess we'll go with the rally, but honestly, all these are too expensive in my opinion. Please give us a good power. Uh, I mean, fine. <laughs> we have the money, I guess. So I guess for three costs less, it's not bad. We'll just grab, like, two of those, I think. Yeah, that's... Hmm. So that would be a 4-3. Meh, I'm fine with the cards I have, to be honest. Especially since we actually just got a really good power <laughs> on Lee Sin. That uh, Feral Presence is going to be very, very nice. getting a little lucky here at the end. <laughs> Mind if I do. To keep up. You know, we both the Dawn Speakers at the very start. Pretty, pretty good. I pack a punch. We're not going to use any more because we're not going to be doing any extra damage here. Like, we're killing the Dawn Speakers. That's great. But using more of these isn't going to help us at all. Still, though, killing both the Dawn Speakers is pretty great. Oh, the Stony Suppressor. My nemesis. <laughs> I hate this card so much. And I always forget about it until they play it. And I'm like, right. That thing. Ah. Uh. Well, these units are about to get challenged and killed. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. I'm just going to count on them attacking. Okay, good. Yeah, so I'm going to try to play this in the order so that this card gets the um, buff and can kill the suppressor. I'll play this first. Uh, grab Gruesome Theater, I guess. Right, the augment is gonna. <laughs> uh, so one of these is gonna get the buff, anyways. So that's gonna be hilarious. So screw it. We'll just try to save everyone. <laughs> ah, but that one. Damn. Well, that is a little unfortunate. But two of them will live.
So it doesn't have too many stacks yet, but I, I'll just play Lee Sin. So we'll have both of these units challenge. That way our augment unit will be able to hit the Nexus just fine. They don't have any combat tricks, so they won't be able to mess with our attack at all. Alright, so there's a bunch of other crap we could play, but we'll just end the game. <laughs> Very nice. Let's go see if we can take on Galio. I don't even check who Galio is supporting. It's probably going to be Malphite. I feel like it's always Malphite. Sure, that could be interesting. Snapper. Oh boy, Senna. That's actually going to be worse for us since our units have, like, no health. Our augment units that we start with. Alright, we know we're going to draw this, so we don't need to worry about um, starting out with it. And we do, anyways. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to wait to see who she tries to kill. Keep your distance. Oh, great. Nice. So yeah, we won't be able to buff him up enough that he can survive the quick attack. So we'll just let her hit, but at least he survived the darkness. Well, could we? Well, let's see. see? This is progress. Yeah, he'd still die. So sad. Concentrated forgiveness. At least she's out of mana for the other darkness. So they might play the 5 cost, but normally they're going to play another 1 drop, so being able to attack and get rid of multiple multiple of their cards potentially. We'll try to go with this. Oh, there. Yeah, they're going to use that. Alright. I think I've just used one spell so far, right? So we're buffing him up first so that he can get the other buff and kill her. And we'll just try to push a bit of damage. Yeah, we'll go with a Concussive Palm.
I mean, we're not going to get as lucky as last time, but wouldn't mind you yeah, pushing a little bit more damage. Especially when they're out of mana to do anything. Alright, killing Senna and doing a good amount of damage. We are going to have to be careful to play Lee Sin when they do have those kill spells on hand. I guess we could just make them have to play this again. That would be kind of funny. Who's going to get the buff? This is glorious. Hmm. So yeah, she won't be able to kill him with the darkness, but I don't really want her killing any of my other units either. So yeah, we'll just let her let her hit us for now. Make the hurt your weapon. So she might be able to kill one of them, but hopefully she can't kill them all. Because I have another Lee Sin also stacked up, so I'm a little bit less worried about him getting killed. Does have full mana though, which isn't great. We'll go with this, see what they have to throw at us. Yeah, we will... Save that unit. Now we'll come over here and save this unit. And they're out of mana, and we should be good. Alright, very nice. That, uh whole adventure definitely took a little bit. I hope this shows you what it was like to play uh, Lee Sin against some of the tougher uh, opponents in the game. He can be a bit inconsistent. I'm sure I'm not the best Lee Sin player in the world, but I have put a good amount of hours um, into him. I hope you're able to learn something, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching that video all the way to the end. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. We're putting out multiple videos every single day for Path of Champions content. So if that interests you, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and welcome to the channel. Have a great day.